Hey guys, it's Sam here from the Building Self-Esteem blog. In this video I wanted to talk a bit about uh, rumination. I'd like to talk a bit about what rumination is, uh, how it contributes to low self-esteem, and how you can combat ruminating thoughts. So I think uh, the best way that rumination can be defined as, uh, we can think of it as repetitive negative thoughts that don't lead to a solution. So when you ruminate you tend to obsess about uh, painful things or distressing things that have happened in, in the past. Uh, it could be something you've regretted doing or uh, a mistake that you've made. And when you ruminate you replay this event in, in your head over and over again uh, without any solution. Um, you replay the thought uh, without any sort of uh, completion. And this tends to lead to low self-esteem because uh, when you obsess about these negative thoughts or uh, negative experiences, they tend to contribute to a feeling of inadequacy. Um, if you have low self-esteem or depression, uh, it's, it's uh, quite normal for you to ruminate. Um, and what this does is it contributes to feelings of worthlessness or the idea that you're a failure in some way. So I think one of the best ways to combat the problem of rumination is to engage in introspection instead. Uh, the difference between rumination and introspection is that uh, the latter involves uh, a healthy exploration of thoughts. It tends to lead, lead to insights such as how to resolve a problem as opposed to just obsessing about the problem um, pointlessly. So if you ever find yourself um, getting trapped by ruminating thoughts, uh, which can happen if you spend too much time alone, um, see if you can think about your problem in a, in a healthier way. Try and come up with a, a solution to the problem as opposed to just obsessing about it. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.